For trials many know that God watches over you. Who's it done this? Tell me! It's the night of dark days to be. First in Acre, soon in Jaffa. Who could have done such a thing? Obviously not the guy in the hooded robe. No. I've never made such atrocities. Never in my life. Mr. Green Arrow here. This guy right here. I saw the flag waving and I thought it was some monster. Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. You, Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? Honestly. But you leave me no choice. Was Every kind word assassin. matched by the back of his hand. All I'd lies and deception. He won't be content until this. all bow before him. Who you should not him. have done that. Return him to his squatters. No, I'll be along just... once I've tended to the You others. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No. None of this. You won't. Break his legs, both of them. Right. I am so sorry. You're not sorry, Ash. Have you people nothing better to do? Don't even pretend you're sorry. This dream calls to me, but before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The brothels? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wails? 
But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. But then you'd answer for his bones. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. I know you're a crazy motherfucker and you deserve to die. I don't care who they are. Everyone deserves a choice. Everyone deserves to be able to say, No, I don't want to fucking experiment. Thank you very much. What are you doing? Stupid. Altair. Gagne is dead. Yes, it is. Then you should return to Masayaf with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them and experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. <laughs> Forget I spoke of it. I already have. 
fast forwarding oh, them to a more recent one. What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the animus is overheating. Christ, it's always <laughs> something. How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want Boo. progress reports every hour. Boo it's gonna be him. a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Why is yeah. he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. I can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life. So if he wants to yell a little, let him. Saved your life? <clears throat> what are you talking about? How could he have saved your life? He's an idiot. Okay. What is this? I have no idea what that is. Looks like a remote. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? Mm. When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. <sighs> it was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad. That he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. It's really fucking creepy. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes, and here I at Abstergo. Love. Helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professor's wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing Fucking the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder if they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. Something they even told me I'd be trapped. Doesn't... For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. Oh, his face. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again. And he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nut jobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. What the fuck? This is why the Templars are bad people. Aren't you tired? No. Can't talk. Gotta work. Ugh, 
Fine. Fine. Go to bed. What the hell? Someone's been in here. Someone's been in my lack of clothes. Who would want to come Looks in like here? Looks like some kind of access code. Well, gee, I wonder what that's to. That's to. Wouldn't she still be out there? Why is there even a pin, a pin pad in, in here? If I'm a prisoner, then why would they put that in here? Get on Lucy's email. Steal her pen. More like. Okay. Or was that his pen? Did say that he was flying. His, he left his yeah his access code pin or whatever lying around. Access denied. Why? Wouldn't they know what I'm doing? There's a camera right there. Are they not paying attention at all? So why didn't that work? Look at this fantastic view. Bright as hell. Okay. Let's get on this one. She left her pen lying around. And she was yelling at him. Okay. Uh, dear Nancy, I'm writing to inquire about the death of former employee by the name of Lila Marina. I don't know if you were working here at the time. There was apparently some kind of accident, but I'm not able to find any information on the subject. The coroner's office indicated that her file had been sealed. If it was a suicide, why is this information considered so sensitive? Sincerely, Lucy Stillman. Miss Stillman, I'm sorry, but I am not authorized to discuss this employee or the circumstances regarding her departure from the company. Miss Stillman. Oh, never mind. Nancy, I don't understand why this information is so difficult to access. I've never heard of a company having the ability to declare a coroner's op report proprietary information. That's ridiculous. She's my friend. I just want to know what happened to her. Miss Stillman, unfortunately, I am unable to respond further to your inquiry. I have cc'd Alan Rickman Ricken on this email. Please direct all further questions to him. Thank you. She killed herself. Something about a relationship with a kid named Newman. Don't drop, don't dip your pen in the company ink. Now drop it. Okay, so what is... What? What's the importance of this Leela? Did she die how... Um, did they come for her in the night and they killed her? Called it a suicide? Uh, that doesn't really make any sense to me. Why? They would do that. I don't really understand why they came for Lucy either, but oh, what's over here? Okay. Is that really all that I could do? It's obvious that Lucy is leaving this shit for me. I mean she yelled at Warren for leaving his pen out, and then she leaves hers out conveniently when my, um, when I get the access code to my door. Rise and shine! We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good happy. mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And Great. help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. 
Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we I'm certainly exaggerate. don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. So you're just treasure hunters. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Fucking lazy ass. Assholes. You don't deserve half the shit you have. <sighs> Why did you leave this open, Desmond? You leave it closed all the time, because you can't freaking open a door. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. And you're not closing it. And she's not even concerned about losing her pen. Obviously, who's in Ready when you are. Is this the one I'm on? When you have been exposed, killing some of your pursuers will make it easier to escape. The animus sounds really. Forward. When you're Coming, exposed. Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salahadin is surely aware of this. And so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. Mm. It would be many days before they meet. And while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. Yes. So I will. Abun Nukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat, liege lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed. Arrogance. The slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. Great. I've always wondered suspicious cards. 